What up, guys? Welcome back to Base Damage. Uh, back once again, we have Sir Joe Schmo with us. How's it going, bro? Hi. He's like, how are you? He's like, he had to redo the intro, so I'm just like, what do I do? <laughs> uh, uh, so, I, as we stated in the last time that uh, Joe was here, uh, we wanted to look at the Slime Volume 3 that we're getting later this year. Uh, I don't remember when we're getting this, but it's whatever. Uh, the fact is... Uh, you very much like slime, and you're like, oh, I see Xion cards. I must get. <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, I have a Xion Shuna deck. Yeah. He's been like, <laughs> he's like, Cade, I want to get into slime. I'm like, okay. The set or the kink? He's like, no, no. Anyway. So <laughs> yes, but that's beside the point. Yes, but that's beside the point. Okay, I honestly, Rimuru is cute. I'm going to say it right now. Anyway. So, <laughs> so, uh, He's been picking through like the stuff from Volume 1 and Volume 2, and I told him Volume 3 was coming out. And he's like, I must look at these. So, yeah, that's what we're here to do today. As with some of the other uh, sets that we've gone over with Rex and Gothmom and everything, uh, we're going to highlight the double rares in each set. So maybe some card arts and whatnot. Um, looking at this, you know, swimsuit Xion right here. Uh, but for the most mm -hmm. part, like anything that catches our eye as we like scroll through and look at stuff, we're going to... We'll talk about whatever we want to talk about, but at minimum, we're going to be highlighting the double rares, and we're going to go from there. Um, uh, we will alternate, but I'm going to let you take the first one, since that is a Xion for you, my dude. So, let's just jump right into it, as they say. All right, so, ignore me shoving a hot dog down my throat. We're going to talk about <laughs> this double rare Xion. Life rewards me ears perking up like, yep. <laughs> hey, yep. <laughs> so... This is a zero zero cost, two thousand. But God bless that signature; looks amazing. It so, really does. I'm sorry, I'm, cu I'm cutting you off. I am so glad they did like actual like uh, signature stuff right here and whatnot. I don't mind like the, the some of the stamps. Like I think, I think all of these are in the set are s uh, for the sps are actual signatures and not hot stamped anything. Mm -hmm. But sure, it's not the fucking hot stamp shit. Just, just fuck off with it. I like, I love the signature stuff more. Sorry, carry on. So, auto, <clears throat> pay one when this climax is placed into the climax area, which when I think that's just any climax. Yeah, yeah that's climax. yeah. When your climax is placed in the climax area, you may pay the cost, which is one. If you do, look at the top four cards of your deck. Choose one demon cotton character. Demon cotton character from among them and show it to your opponent and put it to your hand. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, this is actually very similar. Sorry to cut you off again. The, this first effect is similar to a sukuha from the Sao Ordinal Scale. Mm -hmm. so it's something very similar for this and just is very good because of that so carry on and if you need power you can pay the cost which is return this to the hand mm -hmm. when the climax is placed on the climax area you may pay the cost and choose one of your characters and gets plus 2000 power so the interesting thing for this is uh, if I remember correctly slime has standby yes so, I believe so how this would work is you could play the standby Pay the one stock for the first effect, do the mill, add a card. Bounce this back to hand, give something power. Standby, summon something. You can choose the order of how stuff works, obviously, uh, so that's why you can do the the first effect and then bounce it back afterwards, so it's just really cool. And it frees up a spot for standby, so all the more reason I like it in terms of that. So, yeah, no, it's so really good. Uh, first double rare, definitely solid, and I'm liking it so far. So, the next one we have is the 3-2 Rimuru. Uh, we don't have the actual names up here for this, I'm sorry. Uh, also, I didn't state this at the beginning. We we're looking at this on the Weiss Tea Time uh, spoilers page. It's a little PDF you can just pull up and everything, and uh, please go check them out. Not sponsored, but hey, you know, maybe one day. Uh, so a, a 3 2 10k Rimuru on play, you get to heal one. Always good. Uh, on attack, if you have a choice trigger climax in your, or a specific choice trigger climax in your climax area, and you have another demon continent character, deal one damage to your opponent. So just one damage straight out. Then discard up to X cards. For each card discarded by this effect, perform the following effect. This turn, this gets 1,000 power. Then your opponent mills one card. If that card is level zero or lower, 
deal one damage to your opponent. X is uh, the number of cards that you have to discard, or up to X that you can discard, is equal to the number of this level 3 Rimuru in your front row. So, as long, if you have three Rimuru, three of this Rimuru in your front, front row, you can pay that cost up to three times. So, <clears throat> or you can discard up to three cards. And the more you do, the more you have the chance to poke your opponent for one over and over and over and over. So it's on attack. You don't have to pay any other stock outside of like, you know, the discard effect and everything. You don't have to reverse. I personally like this. I think it's really cool. Honestly. Yeah. It, honest, it's cool because you get the auto burn mm -hmm. and then you can burn for three more on top of it. Potentially. Potentially. And even if you just like, it, say you try fielded this, even if you just did, a single discard for every single one. I mean, you're probably going to want to try to pitch like your entire hand at that point. Anyway, it's just kind of an all or nothing play, mm -hmm. but being able to pull that off as like as many times as you have cards in hand is kind of nuts. Let's be re like for real. Oh yeah. Even if you just drop like two of these and do that, like, you know, discard four cards total. That's still really cool. I, I honestly like this, but, uh, and I know at the very beginning you said, I am talking about this next she on it's even though it's not a double rare, but yeah, the, so yeah. yes, I do like the SR. Shion is my favorite girl from Slime. Hands down, I would I have statues, blah 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 blah. But that's aside the point. What caught my eye was her, her climax combo. So this it's a level zero zero it's a level zero zero cost Shion yellow, five hundred power. During your turn, it gets plus four thousand automatically. Hmm. Which I mean that's a big hitter for, for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> the shit is strong for no reason. Because she a strong woman. Mm-hmm. So, the thing that caught my eye was this Climax combo, which, choice Climax, uh, discard one Demon Continent character, uh, which, from your hand. So, when this card a battle opponent is reversed, if you have the choice Climax, which whatever 23 is, uh, in your yeah. Climax area, you may pay the cost, which is discarding one. If you do, look up the th three cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one yellow, one red, and one blue among them. Show them to your opponent, and then... Send the rest to your waiting room. Then choose one of your demon continent characters and gets plus fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. so, so this was made for a tricolor deck, most definitely. And it's not like you can't like have uh, other like multicolor characters and whatnot at level zero to help fill out some of this. Even if, like, say if your top end was say like for your deck, it's mostly focused around Shion and Shuna, where mm -hmm. you have you know yellow and red cards at your top end. But if you had blue characters that were like level zeros or whatever, you can still add that off of this. So the choice is a 1k1 always. So this becomes a 45 base. 55 with the climax for the reverse. So you need a little bit more to push for some reverse stuff. At level like zero, it's funny dropping this at level zero, but you could run this as like a level one combo if you had more buffs. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, itself does the, like, plus 1,500 power to one of your Demon Continent characters. Uh, so, you could give it to another copy of it and make that, that would go from 55 to uh, 7k. So, say, like, you use the first one to reverse, like, one of their level zeros that's still on the board or something. And then the next one could probably get rid of a level one or something, you know. Mm. Uh, but on, on the next turn... It's only 500 power. She is dying so hard. Just like in that one uh, that one episode in the show. Anyway. Uh, spoilers, anyway. <laughs> spoilers. Uh, I still like the fact if you could pitch, you could do this and then get like plus three. Oh, yeah. Like, or, and then like get three. It's not plusing three because you're still discarding one card. You could technically plus two, but, um, but that's whatever. I, I do like it. I still think this is really cool. Um... The yeah. other one I want to talk about is a Diablo. Uh, the level one climax combo? Yes. This is actually really cool. Uh, so it's a level one, zero cost Diablo yellow. Uh, during this turn, if you have another character with Rimmer, it gets plus 3,000. So during during your turn, it's 7k free cost. Uh, the climax combo, when this crowd opponent is reversed, if you have the win climax, 24, whatever climax that is, in your climax area, choose up the four cards at the top of your deck. Choose two Deaton... Deaton... Demon continent characters among them. Choose one to put into your hand and then stock send the other one to stock. And then put the rest of your cards in the waiting room. So, so it's yeah. a essentially it's a good way to get rid of cards fast. Mm -hmm. You can do it up to three times. 
pretty much the win climax is the spin triggers so this is also off of a 1k1 so mm-hmm. th- that means this is a minimum of an 8k it has better chances yep. of reversing than the Xion, but it's still yeah that's understandable and building extra stock that you know is clean you know exactly what what stock you're adding it's also not like the fucking level one Weiss from uh from Ruby that's like your opponent gets to choose what card is added. Your fuck that shit. Nah. So um, another one to note, which is just funny, is the level three Shion two <laughs> cards down, um, which is basically a th- level three two cost discard two or pay two discard two when it attacks, get rid of all your stock, deal four damage, and if your opponent um happens to heal or cancel the damage you can still burn for one so Mm -hmm. that's that's pretty that's a funny gimmick card plus it's a 10 5 like it's a funny gimmick card. you can still uh like you don't even have to do the other burn four but even just a like on the turn this is played if you know cancel burn of one still pretty cool I also really like the SR art for this as well I like the the Mm -hmm. art where they're all in like the military uniform stuff it's like really cool Oh, yeah. Uh, and we're just going to kind of scroll through it, some of the other stuff. Uh, I'm just kind of like over, like looking over a bunch of it. I know there's some experience cards. Some That's a, I really haven't seen that before. I was about to say, if you want to see experience stuff, Jesus Christ. Okay, this is easy, though. If this if you have a yellow for the Hakuro uh, experience, mm-hmm. if you have a yellow card in your level zone, this gets 45. That's so fucking easy. I do like how easy that is. It makes it a uh 106k so pretty cool uh pretty cool defensively the art for this is so good oh my god and then there's the Sheon that's a level one it gets plus five for every demon mm-hmm. character and it has a experience when this card is placed on stage from hand if you have a yellow card and red card in your level zone look at the top four cards of your deck choose a climax among them add it to your hand and put the rest in a waiting room if you added a card discard one so th- this is easy to pull off what I don't like is that you can't do this unless you're level two. You can play her at level one and she could be big. I do like the effect of the 500 power makes her basically with a full field of one zero six K defensively. Mm. That is good, but it's past the point of being played. Yeah. And you can only get the experience on play effect at level two. So it's past that point. It's kind of wasted in my mind. I could be wrong, and it'd be like the greatest fucking thing since sliced bread. But I just, uh, like, I don't. Well, we gotta see it played. Yeah. But I just want to bring it up because like, it's experience. It's not a bad card. I'm just saying the timing is really off on that. You play a play setter, mm-hmm. you play nothing basically. Yeah. Um. Also, if I remember correctly, okay. So scrolling down, the climaxes are just choice triggers and the spin trigger. There's nothing else. There's no shot. Yeah. Uh, there's no like other weird ones. So. Uh, we're going to scroll on down. We're at green now. So I am going to let you take the first one because I want to talk about this Veldora. Like, this Veldora okay. is awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, well, once you're done yours, I got a question about that one underneath it. Oh, go, uh... Because I don't remember... What's Resonate? Resonate is usually t- typically where you have to reveal a specific name card in your hand. Okay, okay, okay. Typically. But, uh... Sometimes it's like discard, but Resonate always involves another card of a specific name. Uh, okay. One of the sets that was notorious for, in terms of the, you probably remember a good bit of, uh, was like Bang Dream that needed to resonate with the Birdcage Diva Yukina with like several. Oh of its yeah, cards. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, trying to think of any other sets that did it uh, a whole bunch. You remember when Tim, uh, when Timmy would play the uh, the saber deck? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. There was like I one that, that was like yeah, a specific yeah. vanilla saber he had to show for like ninety percent of the fucking effects. Yep. So. Um, so that's what that is based off of. So, and that one specifically, the new uh, three two Rimuru we showed before. So, all right. Oh, yeah. um, so, uh, this is a double rare Rimuru zero zero uh, green. Act skill discard two, rest this. Choose one cost one or lower character Valdor in its name whose level is equal or lower to your level in your waiting room. Put it on the stage in, in any slot, and then a brainstorm. Pay one, rest this. Flip top four. And if there's a climax, choose up to one demon content character from your waiting room, put it to your hand. Mm-hmm. So really good brainstormer in general. Just a salvage brainstormer is always good. The fact that it works with the Veldora is pretty cool. Um, 
it's just a little wonky that it's like you can't cheese it out at level one, but that's whatever. But it's not it's mm-hmm. not a bad card. But regardless, you're going to run it for the brainstorm effect most definitely. Um, speaking of the Veldora is a one zero forty five. If all of your characters are demon continent, this gets a continuous thousand power, making it a one zero five five. When this attacks, if you have the bar climax, which is the gold bar, so it's a one k one. So one zero six five. You don't even have to reverse with this, but it, you get pretty big anyway. When this attacks, if you have the, that climax and you have six or less cards in hand, and you have another demon continent character, real easy. Look at up to three cards from the top of your deck. Choose a demon continent or a specific two zero event. We'll showcase that in a little minute, little bit here. From amongst them, show it to your opponent. Add it to your hand. Send the rest to your waiting room. Then look at up to two cards from the top of your deck. Choose a card amongst them. Put it on top of your deck. Send the western waiting room. So you get to. Obviously, you get to dig. Mm-hmm. You. It's on attack. It's not on reverse or anything. The only downside is it has to be six or less in hand, but I'm used to that from a uh, the level one Ichika combo that I run for the Ichika waifu deck uh, is basically a very similar effect to this. But then you get to stack your deck. You get to see what your next trigger is going to be. Say for the, the next one coming up, whatever. So this is really interesting if you could have like this plus like a standby build. And then you're just like, okay, cool. I'm going to top check. Oh, here's a standby. I'm going to make th- make this be the next one that I have, and your your next character attacks. And and what I really like, uh-huh. there's a bond card that goes with it too. Yeah. They uh-huh. really want. So if you're running green, there's this is like this is the combo. Pretty much. Also, I'm just going to showcase her just because this is her only fucking card. There's only one luminous card in this entire set. Uh, I do like that they did like alternate arts and everything. I'm gonna be picking up this card if nothing else because I love me some some fabulous vampire women. So vampire women, which is the bond one. Oh, also the event uh forty. Let's check that out real quick and then we'll continue. So two zero event. Choose one of your characters this turn. It gains the following ability. When this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you can salvage a demon continent character and add it to hand. And then you send this to stock. This is actually pretty cool in terms of like uh, comboing it if you base it off of like a Rimuru Veldora setup. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. <laughs> also, the art for the for his climax combo looks really fucking cool. Oh, there's only two climaxes in this, and they're both gold bars. <laughs> Ah, yes, the double gold bar. And that's uh, it for how green. I missed you so. Ain't that the truth? Uh, the other one is the... The other Climax combo is with a 2-1 Rimuru. So it's not like a finisher or nothing. So I guess you would probably base it off of the, like maybe the level 1 Veldora. And the one, like I said, the one that resonates with the level 3 Rimuru maybe? I don't know. In terms mm. of like if you did like a specific combo setup it's probably this in the rimmer maybe i don't know anyway let's continue through um we could talk about the hinata this is pretty cool okay um, uh so for it. it's a level three two uh green card uh when this is placed on stage from hand put up the one card from the top of your deck into your stock then perform the following effect you may choose one of your opponent's level one or higher characters if you do Choose your opponent chooses one level X or lower character from their waiting room and swaps it with the two characters. X is equal to the level mm-hmm. characters chosen by you minus one. So they have it makes them it forcibly makes them swap out a character and they have to downgrade at least one level. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the second skill discard two cards when the battle opponent becomes reversed. You may pay the cost do X damage to your opponent. X is equal to the number. Of your- of your opponent's reverse car- character. So you would do this yeah. last, unless you have three of them on the field, then, I mean, you go one, it's, two, three. Yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. Th- this is a really nice off finisher in terms of your opponent. One is the battle opponent has to be reversed. So when you play this, you can purposely make the character across from her drop down. So the way this is worded, your opponent has to choose, unless they just don't have a fucking target. Uh, like, they they just refreshed. You make them send the one character and they have no other cards in waiting room. It says that uh, your opponent has to swap. But basically the way this is worded, your opponent has to swap. So it's not mm-hmm. like it's not like you can kill something with this effect and they go, Well, I'm just gonna choose not to put anything there so you can't reverse it for your burn. So Um So you could purposely make like make them like 
get rid of something they throw down like a level one or a level two that you can easily get over more than likely and just go cool and pop the burn so i do like this even if you don't do the first effect the extra like able to be like you said you just like swing with this last and do some burn was like really cool Mm -hmm. or if you need specific stuff you can attack with this first or second or whatever like the specific being able to control how much damage your opponent's taking at any one specific point is pretty cool and this is on it it's on a rare so that's pretty cool yeah i feel it as a good finisher Mm -hmm. but if you were to do a budget deck that is it's probably we don't know prices but if i had to take a guess since it's a rare it's not going to be too much it's gonna be much at all um but it would be a good finisher for a budget deck agreed uh Uh, there's a three two uncommon veldor that salvages on play so that's pretty cool it says when it's Uh, placed on okay because there's the level two above it that can summon that there's a common 2-1 le- Climax combo for Rimuru. Yeah, that's what I saw earlier. When this attacks, if you have the bar, choose up to one Demon Continent character in your waiting room, send it to stock, then until the end of your opponent's next turn, this gains the following ability. When this is frontal attack, you may return this to your hand. I actually like this because... Okay, it, it gets big. During your turn for each of your other Demon Continent characters, this gains 1,500 power. Math is... 4 is 3 is 6,000. So it becomes a... 12 5 a 13 5 if i'm doing my math right with that climax combo that is actually really cool it's weak defensively but if you do the combo it bounces back anyway it doesn't matter you just can just play it again and with this effect choose up to one demon continent character send it to stock and in your waiting room send it to stock it pays for the cost of summoning it to begin with so hmm. it, you don't have to reverse. This is actually a neat little like, hey, I'm just going to keep having something big every single turn to just kick your shit in. Like, that's actually really cool. So green is pretty interesting. Also, you got like a great sage event. I'm not like super fond of it, but that looks it just looks cool. So, mm. oh, we get into we get into uh, your other girl. Oh yeah. In red we have oh we have uh three four double rares. We're going to highlight off of this. Uh you get to pick. Uh well no, the first one's Shuna, you go. <laughs> All right, Shuna. <laughs> Just uh, made me think of that. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking I was thinking of the Roshi from DBZ and Bridge. <laughs> All I can imagine was the butt rub guy. <laughs> Just thinking like, that butt rub. <laughs> I can't <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> All yeah. right, let's uh, the, the the more important stuff here. So, Shuna, level zero, zero cost. Uh, attack when this attacks, choose one of your characters, get plus fifteen hundred. That's pretty all right. Um, pay one, put the top card of your deck into the clock. So, clock yourself one and pay one. When this is sent from the stage to the waiting room, it pay the cost. If you do, look up the two cards from the top of your deck. If they're demon continent characters, basically you show them to your opponent and to your hand. So when it gets sacked, you get the top two cards from the yeah. top of your deck of your hand. When it when basically if it dies, but at the same time yeah. you can just summon it over top of this and it works. Mm-hmm. Th- okay, this is an effect very similar to a level zero Ichika from Quintuplets so that I'm like, why aren't more people running this? This is actually really good. It is like I think it's almost the exact same effect for that. And then I saw someone actually running it and topped to regionals with it. And I was like, yo, homeboy knows the saw, like the spice. Like, I thought that was so cool. Um, so this is actually really good. So I, I expect to see this to have like somewhat of a price tag. So it is, it, yeah, this is good. So next we're getting into some of the climax combos. We have a one zero four K Millum. During your turn, if all of your characters are Demon Continent, this gains 2k power. So 106k, it combos with a door, which is the 1k1 Salvage. So minimum of a 7k. When this attacks, if you have that in your climax area, choose up to one of your opponent's level 0 or lower back row characters, send it to waiting room. Then reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a Demon Continent character or a specific 1-1 red event, add it to hand. This doesn't have to reverse. This can kill two birds with one stone, because it gets big. I actually really like this. Mm-hmm. You don't have to kill something with this to do the reveal, but you can still pull, you you still can pop something. Oh, you have a brainstormer, not anymore. And then you can still plus off of it by adding a card to your hand or a specific event. I'm going to scroll down to that event is 71. 
Let's just go ahead and highlight it. Might as well. Oh, scroll, 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 scroll. Is a one-one event. If you have two or less Demon Lord characters, this can't be played from hand. That's another thing I forgot to say for this, and we'll go to that in a sec. Choose up to two characters in your waiting room, add them to your hand, and discard a card. This is pretty cool. They added the Demon Lord trait, so there's there's still Rimuru's in here that mm. are Demon Continent, but say like uh. I'm just trying to scroll back up. Uh, let's just scroll back up. Uh, card number 50, just for the first Climax combo that I saw. It's still Demon Continent, but it has Demon Lord as well. Whereas the one above it, uh, 49, has Demon Continent and Slime. Demon Continent's music trait for this entire set, to my knowledge. So that's whatever. But there's certain Rimuru's with Demon Lord, and there's certain ones that don't. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, like overtly affect like a lot of the other stuff like, obviously if you run it with say the this particular event you're going to want to run as many as possible and you do have the other demon lords from octogram as well so it's whatever um but that is a thing that you do have to be on the lookout for you can't just grab any rimuru and obviously the rimuru's from set one and two no, I don't think any of those are going to have Demon Lord in any capacity whatsoever. Actually, I'm going to scroll back up to Yellow real quick. You don't have to. I'm just going to scroll back up to the 3-2 Remaru. Okay. See, even that one has Demon Continent Slime. That doesn't have Demon Lord just yet. Um, So just saying, that is a thing to be mindful of. But overall, I do like this Milim. It's not the best defensively, but for you know two birds one stone it's uh, that's a fair trade-off like in my mind so anyway uh next is you with the benny maru all right two one benny maru which this art's a little trippy not gonna lie uh for real i'm looking here. at this going like yo where does the like if you look over the sp it's like when does the art stop and the signature begin type it, thing it's but... one big signature <laughs> it's so cool <laughs> I like that idea. Just the guy, they handed it to the guy. He's just like, I'm about to end this man's whole career. Just go <laughs> the entire thing. Just starts messing with the artist and like entire setup. And is like, I made it better. <laughs> I'm here to make his day worse. So, um, okay. Before I continue, how do I scroll down to see the other stuff? What do you mean? There's more underneath the, Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, I did run into this before looking through this. Um, I don't know exactly what it says. I can kind of make out something from the top part. I will read up until that point, and then I'll try all to right. see if I can decipher it. It's a, it's a two one level two one cost continuous. If all the characters are demon continent character, he gets plus forty five hundred and auto encore, which is a discard. Better than clocking. Mm -hmm. uh, the climax combo, um, and it's an experience too. Mm -hmm. So whenever the standby climax, which is the you know climax choice, is placed in the climax area, if it is if this is in your front row and you have a yellow and a red card in your level zone, which is the experience, mm -hmm. choose one of the following two effects and resolve it. First effect is choose one of your other demon characters and you may stand it. So restand. So the re the restand for that because it's specifically when the standby is played. So you can summon something in with the standby and then use this to stand it. So the other one, it looks I I you kind of have to decipher based off the top card of the top letters here, but I think it says you may put the top card of your stock into your waiting room if you do deal four damage. It says deal like I think that's a four right there. It's really weird. It's either a four or a or a one because the one does have like the little sloop right there. I'm gonna say yeah. deal one. Deal one sounds a lot like more reasonable mm -hmm. i think it's deal if you may put the top card of your uh stock into your waiting room if you do deal one damage to your opponent if it's wrong i'm sorry but for some reason this is cut off right here and i don't really understand why but it's whatever regardless if all of your characters are demon continent it's a constant uh oh, that is sick. it's a constant 10k with uh uh, character encore like this is strong as shit very much so the experience is easy yellow and a red card at level two done like this is really really easy no issue whatsoever here for me the next is a 
Like I said, I apologize for the, the, the cutoff portion there. I'm assuming it's like a burn one. But still being able to do the stand effect off of that is is really cool. Now, here, here's here's one of the, the... You have to choose an other Demon Continent character, so it's not like you can uh, summon this off of the standby and stand himself, but mm-hmm. it's whatever. So then we have a 3-2 Rimmerer. is a 10k. When this is placed on stage from hand, you can heal one. Pretty good. When this attacks... And this is a Demon Lord uh, Rimmerer. I should specify that for the rest of these that we showcase. Uh, when this attacks, if you have the door, you can discard a Demon Continent character, so anything. If you have three or more other Demon Lord characters, you can pay the cost, deal two damage to your opponent, and this gets 1,500 power till end of turn. This is actually really easy. You just have to have the Demon Lord stuff as well, once again. It's just whatever. So you could do, just for example, you could do the Milim for the level 1 combo and this for the level 3 combo. I personally like this Mini Mario, though, like, a lot. Like... I, I'm not. I might make something based around this. I'm gonna be real. Also, I just love like sitting on the throne, all smug as shit, just like yeah. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Oh, and this is. I don't know if this is for every single color, but the Rimuru for this one is the secret rare, which I really like. Um, um, I'm gonna scroll back up to the other ones. You don't have to, but I'm just gonna scroll to the other ones. Green doesn't have a secret rare. Okay. In Azure, the yellow does not either. In Azure, every single color had a secret rare. So for this one, I think it's just this. We'll double check when we get down to the blue. But if it, if not, this is probably just the only secret rare in the set. But, I mean, it looks fantastic. It looks great. So. Uh, let's see. The other Rimuru I showcased earlier that was like the Demon Lord. Let's see. If this attacks, you have a door... Uh, and another demon continent. Choose one of your characters. It gets when this battle opponent becomes reversed. Search your deck for a character. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Um, it's not the best uh, offensive, or it's not the best defensively, but offensively, it's pretty good. It's going to become a 7 5, and you don't have to reverse either. You just have to attack. So, this is pretty good. Well, okay, to be fair, if you give it to itself, it does have to reverse. So I didn't, I was, on reverse search for something that does get that big, or you can give it to something else that's bigger. Yeah, that's whatever. That Shion, uh, uh, Shuna, sorry. Which, both of these, like, one, the Shuna alternate art for the number 51, and the military uniform one for number 52 is really cool. I like both of those. Got another level three mil. Okay, we got another level three milum. This is the easier like early play cost. Is if you have four more demon lord characters, gets minus a level in hand. Um, against two five and character encore. If you have two or more other demon lords, look up to X car and you get to dig basically for equal to the number of your demon lords. Okay. Honestly, I mean it's a solid. I mean the. Mm-hmm. There, I can see some weird little things you could do, to be honest. Like, mm-hmm. some interesting stuff. Like, obviously, if you focus on the Demon Lord aspect, you're maxing out on, like, as many Milim cards as you can. Sorry. Oh, I'm for sure. No, real quick. Uh-huh. No, you're go- I'm thinking, because just off the stuff I've seen, it, it, this stuff could really go crazy with mm-hmm. some of the old stuff, too. And, like, there's other Demon Lords in here. Like I said, uh, actually, is the Luminous demon lord or is that still yeah the, yeah the level zero luminous does say uh demon lord so uh there's guy in here as a 2-1 assist specifically a 1500 assist to demon lord characters interesting all of your other the level three two remory 40 number 47 is that the climax combo that is the climax combo one okay cool um all of your other that specific remember you get a thousand power and during this card's battle all players cannot play back up from hand uh did he have to reverse he does not have to reverse but the fact that he can make it so your opponent more than likely can't like save from being reversed is still really cool mm-hmm. like guaranteed more than likely guaranteed reverse on top of being able to just you know do the burn so that's actually a really cool combo it's just for the fact of it's also global, so it doesn't it, it, it like it does position doesn't matter on stage. So that's actually yeah. cool. Um, Him also, 
<coughs> him also being demon lord since that three two rimuru you have to have three or more other demon lord characters on field you know he obviously constitutes to that so it's a good thing mm. So even just a Demon Lord deck should be interesting. Frey is up here. She has Demon Lord. All of your other... De oh, this is going to be cool. So if you do the Demon Lord deck, this might be the Brainstormer. All of your other Demon Lord characters get 500 power. Really good. Uh, pay one, tap two characters, mill five for each climax with a door with the salvage trigger icon salvage character. So this is a common. You would think... I would think this would be in a higher rarity. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of like people, they probably thought when they did that, be like, who's going to do uh, just Demon Lord stuff, you know? I mean, that's but then, fair. But, you know, in reality. Yeah. The fact that it's a mil five for, you can only run the door stuff, which, once again, sorry for scrolling back and forth so much. The 3-2 remember was a door, the milum is also door. So if you do that specific combination and you just focus just on Demon Lord, this is definitely your your uh, brainstormer of choice. Is this fray? Uh, let's see. We got a vanilla Shuna in here where they're still printing vanillas in the year of our Lord twenty twenty three. That I was like, I don't know if uh, uh <laughs> that's a good thing or not. It it still happens in like every fucking set. There's gonna be vanillas. It's one thing if it was a trial deck, but I, I fully expect it then. But it's like just stop. You're printing vanillas for why Schwartz Blau anyway. Just, just done. Just no. At least okay. If you do a vanilla like that with Shuna, at least have like an alternate art that looks cool. I don't know, because Shuna is fucking adorable. Anyway, uh, let's see. We got a counter event. Games. Oh, it basically lets you uh. It's kind of like Resurrection from uh, Konosuba. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as well, in this set, we only have Salvage and one uh, one Standby. There's other Standby in the other in Volume 2. Otherwise, it's only Salvage for this. This is still really fucking cool. Also, I, I that's one of the coolest fucking scenes in this season of Slime that happened for this one. When he gets, like, so pissed, you see the aura coming off of him in, like, different colors and shit. That is some awesome art. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, okay, Blue does have a secret rare. This looks so cool. Sorry, I, I, I skipped down to Blue already, so... No, you're good. I was about to say, there's not really much to see in red, so, I mean, we might yeah. as well go down. I, just, I was just, like, admiring... I'm, I'm admiring the art for all of this, let's be real. Um, the, the river... I'm sorry, I got distracted by the river rune that's, like, four hearts down the top. The one where they got the <laughs> got him cross dressed and I'm just like <laughs> Yeah. That was a great oh, episode. That was great. But yeah. Beautiful. So we do have a Muron that as well as an SP, but this uh first double rare Rimuru is a the secret the other secret rare. So there's two secret rares in this set. That's really cool. Uh I'll do this one and you can get Muron. Uh is a zero zero fifteen. If all of your other characters are demon continent demon continent, this gets fifteen hundred power. And the following ability that it can free run to a front row. So 3k free runner. During this card's battle, when the damage you take is cancelled, you may send this to stock. So overall, this is just really good. Um I like the just this like kind of cards of like is good for the first effect alone. Even if you don't have uh also, also it is Demon Lord. Uh even if you don't do the stock thing, it's whatever. It's still good. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Sorry, I was looking to see if there was any others that had, like, Demon Lord stuff. Is there really only two double rare blues? Uh, yeah, I mean, red had four. The first two, the first two colors only had two each, and red had four. But it's huh. because they were, but it's because it was so many of, like, the main characters as well. So yeah. So that's fair. Uh, so let's, I'm trying to think of anything. I guess the Soe is kind of interesting. I mean, either way, get uh, the, uh, the Muron first, and then we'll go. Yeah, 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 sorry, sorry. It's all good. Just going and through. Uh, Miron is a 2-1. Uh, continuous, if you have two or more other Duba characters, this gets plus 5,000. 5, I'm about to say 500. That's so it's a 10-5 at level 2. Yeah. Okay. And then the climax, which is a pants. When the pants climax is placed on 
your placed in your climax area. If this is in the front row and you have four more other demon continent characters, basically a full field, mm -hmm. search your deck up to one demon continent character, show it to your opponent, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck, and afterwards choose up to one demon continent character waiting room and send it to the stock. Okay, you're so going to do like... Okay. Huh. Hmm. So it's on play. You drop... I just think this is hilarious. You play like three of these and then you get like you, you do all of these effects and you get guaranteed like three clean stock. I actually really like this. It's also a 10 5 constant. The climax is a 1k1, so it's 11 5 offensively before anything else. But you don't have to reverse. This is just really cool over. I really like this combo. So. Yeah, I'm scrolling through. It's all um, I just want to point out the one other Soe. Just the, the art makes me laugh. And then the yeah. Yeoman Muran. Yeah, yeah, her. Yeah. Um, the, I love the, the blush art. Makes me laugh. Uh, I see what you're talking about. I was like, what blush art? And I looked over to the right. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> how it started honest, versus how it's going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Honestly, though, I mean... There's a 3-2 Remory Rare that has a Climax combo. Yeah. Uh, at the end of this attack, if you have the pants and you have two specific Remorus in your memory, uh, you can pay two stock and deal three damage to your opponent. So, uh, depends on how easy those... Because those are from 49 and 58. I'm just scrolling up real quick. Because that's like back in red... Oh, mm -hmm. uh, the 58 is... Okay, it has an auto effect uh, at the start of your climax phase to be able to summon the 3-2 Remaru uh, if you're level 3 or higher, and you send this to memory. So, and then... A Sobei uncommon level 3 that I find interesting, which could be funny. I gotcha. Uh, it's card 89. Um, it's a fun little, okay. it's fun, and I find it fun because it's uncommon, so it's going to be dirt cheap. Um, on Yo, play. I like this. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. It, you heal one, mm -hmm. and it gets plus 1500, so it's sending out 11 for the turn. Mm -hmm. Then the climax, which is uh, pay one, discard one. Uh, when this battle opponent comes reverse, if you have the climax, which is a pants, uh, you may pay the cost, deal four, and send that character to the bottom of their deck. That is like on point for Soe to begin with. Like that, I feel that fits his character of just like, I'm going to do damage and I'm going to like cripple you at the same time. Mm -hmm. Also, the Rigaldo, uh, Rigardu, Rig, 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 I can't, I can't do names Remember? right now. I, it's down a couple. Oh, okay. The backup, I kind of find that useful though. It's when you use it, mill three. That, I it find it be. kind of a useful. I would tech at least one. You, It could be in like, say like, like a standby so you could put like more targets or something mm -hmm. so it is it, admittedly it is a forceful mill you don't get an option yeah so just well, what i'm it. saying it's still there yeah. and if you you know you need to like get through your deck because you've been through all your climaxes already kind of helpful gabby do sama oh let's see and the rest of promo cards Uh, let's see. There's a 3-2 Remaru that on play, top check, if or on attack, top check, if it's a Demon Continent, all your other characters get plus one soul. So it doesn't even count itself. It's kind of wonky. Also, every climax is a pants for blue. That's hilarious. But we are going to talk about... I'm at least going to show some of the promos because we have Secretary Xion, So. Oh, yeah. Do I need to leave you alone with it for a moment? That, no, I'm good. I was going to say, that was a very essential oh yeah. That was like a me oh yeah, you know? <laughs> like, oh cause... yeah. Uh, okay, so then we have a vel. So, uh, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Okay. The Veldor is pretty cool. On play, uh, on play from hand, pitch a demon continent, look at up to four cards on top of your deck, choose up, oh no, I'm sorry, put a demon continent into your clock from hand sorry uh look at up to four choose a card amongst them add to hand rest of waiting room pretty cool um the shuna it's whatever the millum's kind of whatever we'll say you know for the whole demon lord thing there's another remaru uh that is a demon lord i don't yeah 
this the this is just mm, okay. It's not bad. Okay. Uh, there. Let's see. This specific one right down here. I'm just. I'm not for the effect, but so much. Like the effect's still pretty cool. But I'm just stating this is a release tournament promo. So maybe it's a shop promo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but it's specifically like a backup that's a, a promo for uh, either a tournament or a for like the shop promos or something. Uh, the event I do want to talk about is. Uh-huh. In the blue, Go for it. I kind of find it wonky, but I feel there the, might be something somewhere the pyramid that thing? it's useful. Yeah, because it's choose up to five of your opponent's characters and they gain the following ability, which is they cannot <laughs> return to hand nor be sent to memory. This fucks and until the level. end of your opponent's turn. Your opponent cannot play events either. That's hilarious. Th- okay, this. Okay, I really and wish... it's free. Yeah. That's I, the other thing, too. I really wish this had come out when the level one Aaron was as rampant as it was. <laughs> uh, that would have been great. its whole combo makes it so, you know, it if it gets frontal, it bounces back to hand. So this, this does... You can't bounce back to hand. You can't send to memory. Uh... There may be some like like cards that are like on reverse, pay a cost and send them to memory to do an effect, and then the memory thing comes into play like later or something. Mm-hmm. And then until the end of your opponent's next turn, they can't play events. Like in g- general, you just can't play any events. Doesn't matter. I I I completely agree. This is extremely niche. But the decks that this hurts hurt them hard. Oh, for sure. Because, I mean, once again, the same thing, like I said, back in the day with AOTU, that Aaron, that level one Aaron specifically grabbed the omnidirectional mobility gear, uh, part of its climax combo from the waiting room. So it specifically grabbed an event. So not only would it have neutered the Aaron to bounce back from hand, you couldn't even use the event that you grabbed from that Aaron. Mm-hmm. Like, that is actually hilarious. I said, yeah, I, that's one of those things that I feel like that actually, because I this would be that a kind neat, of like, things kind of yeah, it would be a cool tech one because even then you still there's a, I'm pretty sure there are cards in random decks that it still can hurt, especially the event part. Like I know there are some decks that run events. It it really depends. Like okay, it, it well, once again, like I said, AOT that was a mainstream thing that would mess mess you up and whatnot. Okay, let's look at this from the perspective of not the, like, can't be returned to hand nor sent to memory type thing. First off, it does say choose up to five. So if the if the characters have hexproof, this does nothing to those characters. Mm. But it just, just the thing of until the end of your opponent's next turn, your opponent cannot play events. That by itself, even without the other thing, even that depends on the deck. Because you got to think there are a lot of decks that if your opponent has what are called the money counter events, uh, the one event that got recently got put on the uh, the, the restriction list, uh, the imp- uh, important charm for quintuplets, that was run that was run very heavily. But now you can you can only run that or a specific level zero Nina. You got to choose one of the two. If you opt to run that event. You know, then obviously you, know, you got to worry about this. I say the, the level zero Nino is better. That's just me. But mm-hmm. just it, like before that, if you looked at it before that had been put up there, every single one of those decks was running that event guaranteed. So it, it will be very interesting in a format where you know, hey, these top decks are all running some kind of money counter. Darkness plan. That was the other one I was going to say from like two love Rue. They can't play those. The fact that this works on your turn when you play this, like I said, you can make it so your opponent can't do any of the Sayaka's Wish, just throwing a fucking name out there, uh, Omnidirectional Mobility Gear, stuff that you could use, that your opponent could try to do on your turn to me- to mess you up or make it so you can't do damage or whatever. This is just hilarious to do this to make certain your opponent can't do that to begin with. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just hilarious. And then on your opponent's turn, say, imagine if you know it's a deck, that uh like they have a specific engine based off of a event as well the uh the kasumi 
combo from Bang Dream with the something in the warehouse event, you tried to get yeah. as many of those back to your hand as possible to just go mill, 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 salvage, mill, 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 salvage type thing over and over. If you know they have an engine based around that, or if you know a deck is rampant with an engine based around events like that, yes, this like this second uh, this second part alone of just the opponent can't play events is insane. It just solely depends on what you're playing against. Because if they have nothing, if this if they have nothing that is affected by this card, this is a dead card. It's just it's pitching fodder. Um. Should you still run it on a, in like a budget deck? I would say run it, even if you're just running like a budget deck with blue. Because if the chance comes up, you can just laugh all the way to the bank. Like that is in, like, it's really cool. I, like I said, it's very niche, but if that goes off, your opponent's going off. Oh, fuck me running. Oh, know? yeah. So. Mm. Last thing last thing I thought was cool. There's a level zero Ranga. Uh, on play, it gets 1500 power for the turn. It's a 3k. At the start of your opponent's draw phase, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's level one or higher, you may return this to your hand. That is a very powerful, that is a very good level zero. And it's a common. Just throwing that out there. So, really cool. Also, it has a trait called Shadow. That, that does not come into play for anything else in this set, but the fact that probably every single Ranga character has Shadow as a... Does Gobta have it? No, Gobta just has Demon Continent. Gobta just has Demon Continent, but he's the one that does like the fucking Shadow Walk thing. Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, wait, okay, that's yeah, it's whatever. It, it doesn't play any effect. I just happen to notice that, and I'm like... Oh yeah, because he like hides in the shadow all the time. Yeah. Once again, Sele has Shinobi. It just it does nothing for the <laughs> the entire set. Oh man! All right, so just glancing back through, there's a Karion that is a Demon Lord. It specifically affects that Milum from the Double Rares, I believe. That's pretty cool. It specifically searches that level one millum as well. That's a, this is an mm -hmm. uncommon that does that. It makes certain that I'm thinking of the right one. Forty five. Biggity 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 boo. Yep, uh, that millum is number forty five. Okay, I think that was it for anything else that I was like looking. Yeah, they're the wrong is shadow. Yeah, I'm. Th I'm pretty much. That's all I've seen interesting card wise. Okay. That's understandable. And honestly, this is like a really cool set. I. Honestly, all the slime cards are really cool. Yeah, they are. So even if you don't base something off of... Uh, even if you don't base a deck off of just cards from this set alone, you still have two other sets worth of stuff to do. To do stuff with. Oh, yeah. It's getting to the and point of, like, a good... Like... <sighs> SAO was bad for this. Like, in terms of just having a massive fucking card pool. But then you had like dated effects and up, you know, overpower. Like you had a whole bunch of mix of just like certain cards just did jack shit. Slime feels like it has a healthy mix across all of the volumes. I guess it's because it's more recent. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, the, there's a lot of stuff off the older sets that I feel like it's going to combo mm -hmm. very well with. Yeah. But only time will tell. And that's, you know, when we get them. Or, you know, when you see yeah. the JP format go and create ham with them. Yeah. Then we'll know. Uh, this is true, too. So, I mean, I think uh, JP already has these, I think. I could be wrong, but I th I'm fairly certain JP already has this set. I could be wrong. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. Now that tournament season's kicking back up. I mean, like I said, he... Slime's already been topping. With, uh, like, across all of, like, Fall Circuit. Slime was topping in several regionals. So I can only imagine, even if you don't build, like, say, the Demon Lord-specific archetype, quote-unquote, um, there's still a lot of other good cards across all the colors that you could easily push into what is currently out. Mm. If not, you know, build upon it, make it better. Who knows? Um, and I'm certain that there's already people who are obviously going to go through and figure all of that stuff out. They have probably already have, like, figured out exactly which cards, you know, to run for stuff. And that's cool. Um, but this is just kind of a reaction for us and like seeing, I guess uh, like obviously say for you, for you with the Xion Shuna deck, you definitely saw a bunch of stuff that like could very easily be tossed in even just support cards. Uh, the, like the double rare Shuna from red and whatnot. And then there's other ones. There's other Shuna cards. 
that I feel that you probably could run. There's obviously there's Shion stuff that could easily be run. You could swap up some climax combos. If you want to do the fucking shenanigans with like the level zero one we saw and just like, Oh cool. I'm just going to add like three different colors to hand, you know, three cards uh, th each a different color to hand. Like you can still do some shenanigans. I just wish you had like, like I wish Shion had a good like level three finisher or something. Mm hmm. Which I guess the other one we saw before that was like uh, can do the burn and everything. You send all of your stock. You just you only want to play one of her and you want to attack with her first and go ahead and get that out of the way. Now here's the cool thing: it says if you do send all of your stock to the waiting room, if you are if you've paid out all of your stock, this does not matter. <laughs> just attack with her first because I don't like if all of your stock is zero, then you could just do the pay. You could do the pay two pitch two burn four anyway. It doesn't matter. So I'm just, I'm curious on what people are going to come up with. That's, Fair. that's the big thing. And what we're going to come up with. We are people. We count. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Contrary to popular belief. Mm. Oh, what's this? I'm just, I just happened to see. So I'm trying to find like a good card art to end on real quick. Let's just end on the reds with like all these like secret rares and signs and shit. It's like so fucking cool. But yeah. So overall, I, I I want I want more slime in general. And this set. So <laughs> it's like, huh? Man. Um, well, the Bushy Road and um all the other benefactors that benefit off of Weiss, please keep up the good job and give us more good sets. That yes. is my message for this podcast. That's fair. I don't think any Bushy Road people are ever gonna listen to this. If they do, hi, hope you're doing well uh two thank you for you know good cards <laughs> so uh with that also thank you to everyone who's been listening so far thank you for uh sticking along with us this far please subscribe if you want if not hey just thanks for stopping by to listen to us rant for however long that we did uh go check out joe schmo obviously on twitch and youtube and all that stuff uh links will be in the description as always um so yeah, that's about it. I think we're going to end it here. Any closing remarks? Uh, in the words of Bob Barker, remember everyone and spay and neuter. <laughs> All right. Yeah. With that, we're gone. Uh, peace out for now. Bye-bye.